I am working in some model driven apps today and I noticed some changes so I thought we should walk through what some of these changes are if you haven't seen them yet. I am in a trial environment here. I'm in a solution file. So let's just come to new app and we're going to select model driven app because these are the changes. Let's call it simple app and create. Um, so you know nothing's new here we're just creating a model driven app but what's new once this loads are the page options I am so excited to see things like URL as a page so let's add a new page we don't have two or three things here we have dataverse table dashboard URL yay web resource custom page so this is something you used to have to use to toggle over to classic oops I can spell my name so you can take any URL and just boom, add it here. This is amazing. I love it. All right, so let's add some Dataverse tables here too. Um, and I'm just going to add account because I'm just going to show you real quick the things that I noticed when I add um, data here. So the navigation is a little bit different, right? It takes my group, I expands it. It shows me the accounts view um, and kind of just has that whole tree expanded, which is pretty cool. Um, we have pages, we have data, we have automation. It looks and feels a little different than before, but it's the same thing. Look in the bottom left-hand corner, though. Did you notice this little robot dude? I have not noticed him before today. Let's click on this robot dude and see what he is. Is this a power... I walk through it a bit. Is this a power virtual agent on my Canvas app walking me through what to do? This is maker user adoption. I love this so much. All right, so all I did was, you know, this popped up behind the virtual agent. Go through all this stuff, select next when you're ready. That's what I did. And then I started recording because I was like, what is this? So which of these topics can I help you with? All right, how to create a model-driven app. Let's see what happens together, shall we? All right, so it's pulling information, I'm assuming, from Microsoft Learn. Yeah, if I hover over this, it's docs.microsoft.com. Okay, this is cool. It's not really what I expected though. I thought it'd be more tutorials. Here we are. Okay, so background information and then how to do it. This is cool. Isn't this cool? Nice. Yes, it did. <sighs> this is cool. What do you all think about this? Let me know. 